Hello, it's another of my reviews of Ty Lopez's 67 Steps. We're up to step number 42, the answer to the universe. Um, and step 42 is donuts, a $250,000 check, and General Eisenhower, um, the tendency to miss weight. Almost none of those things in that title, donuts, $250,000 check, and General Eisenhower, am I going to talk about in my summary of this? Because it, they really weren't so relevant. What this is all about is why do we make stupid decisions? And it's probably because of some kind of cognitive biases that's called. Uh, this is something from Charlie Munger. Um, he says we have 25 cognitive biases, and that is things that we don't do logically we do because of a preconceived idea and this is this one is about miss waiting and that's waiting is in heavy not waiting is in let's go um so uh, ty checks in another one of these phrases he used and that is you can get anything you want in life but you can't get everything so you need to know how to prioritize and the only my only reference to the title is dollars over donuts okay you know the priorities right you know that it's health wealth love happiness fulfillment those are the four things you need to prioritize things that get you towards your goals in those four areas you know do you prioritize health one of the things i've changed recently uh because of this step um, is that when I get up in the morning, first thing I do is I go for a five or six K walk. So I get up a bit early so I can do that. I do that almost every day. Let's, well, I'll be fair and say four days out of seven, I'll do that because I'm prioritizing my health. I feel better. I've lost a little bit of weight, not as much weight as I'd like, but, uh, you know, so I'm prioritizing those things that are important to me. As they say, first things first. And in this case, it means first thing in the day because you only have a little bit of energy. Your brain run out of, runs out of it, you know? Maybe a little day later, see? Maybe later in the day, you have a cup of coffee and you get a little bit of boost or something like that. But really, your brain runs out of energy, so do the difficult things first. But what is miswaiting? Well, you know, you need to weigh the outcomes of your actions. When is it good to do this because I get this? When is it not good to do this because I do this? Somebody cuts you off in traffic, is it really good to chase up behind them, honk the horn and give them the finger? Probably not. Because it's pointless. You know, it's a pointless waste of energy. Um... So that, that's one thing, out, weighing the outcome of your actions. But the other is, you know, why do we do the wrong thing? And the wrong thing in this case is the thing that not gets you, doesn't get you towards your goal. You have two choices. All right, I'll do it again. I'll go back to the title. Dollars or donuts. If you had to go and get money or you had to go and get donuts, depending on the kind of donut, I'll give you that. Which is more important, Right. Uh, and often we prioritize the more difficult things. We shove them down the list because the easier things, the getting the donuts is a lot easier than getting the money. You know, so it, it's all about management. Peter Drucker, I don't know the book here, Peter Drucker's Manage Oneself book talks about this. It is about self-management. Also, you know, the, um, what's his name, David Allen book, Getting Things Done. Again, it's about prioritizing. It's about not meaningless list building. It's about categorization. You know? Uh, but also, don't stay committed to something. You have to keep these things fresh, these lists fresh, these priorities fresh. You know, if something that's important to do today, if you didn't do it today for whatever reason, tomorrow, actually, maybe it's not so important. So keep updating your priorities. Don't get stuck with things. Discard things that are no longer important, you know? And don't be driven, like we said in the, many other lessons, don't be driven by these imaginary rules of what you can and can't do. Don't be reactive, you know? Reactive means that something external happened and you're going to do this because of that, not because it's getting you towards your goal. 
Of course, you have to respond to changing circumstances to get towards your goal, but not something that pushes you off just because it's a reaction. But, and the other thing that I'm really guilty of is overstretching. Doing too many things, trying to prioritize too many things at the top of the list, and you really need to pare it down. I mean, I have these six major projects that I'm working on, and it's way too much, and to be honest, they're suffering because of it, so I am trying to jettison them. It's the ones that are not so important. So, it's all, yeah, misweighting. Giving things more importance than they're worth, or not giving the things that are important the worth that they ha should have, if that's clear. Okay. Uh, so there we go. That's his step number 41. Maybe it was a bit hard. Okay, I didn't mention Eisenhower, so at least that one I didn't talk about. Uh, so what's a recent example of where you misweighted? These are his three questions, by the way. What's a recent example of where you misweighted something? You thought it was more important than it really was. You went for the donuts when you should have gone for the dollars. What's a simple thing that you can do in each pillar at the start of the day to move you towards your goal? And even if it's a not so simple thing, move things to the head of the queue. You know. And how are you going to alter your day to do the harder things at the beginning of the day. Do the exercise first. Then it's out of the way because to be honest, I find exercise god awful boring. So I get up, I do the walk, I listen to a book probably usually, and um, then I come back and it's not even nine o'clock in the morning and I'm back and I can start my day and get down to my things, you know? And it's like it never happened. <laughs> I didn't waste any important time. So, yeah, move the harder things to the beginning of the day. Gosh, I'm rambling. Okay. Step 42, life, universe, and everything. We'll see you very soon for step 43. Subscribe if you like these. Comment. I love comments. Um, and who knows? We've only got another 20 or so of these things to do. And then you have to go back and start all over again right? Okay. See you later.